Kenya. I'm a second year dermatology resident at the Barara University of Science and Technology. And Dr. Moise Sindani is my colleague, and it's an honor to be doing this. So I'll be talking about one of the complications that we commonly see at the clinic, and it goes by the name of exogenous ochronosis. So what is exogenous ochronosis? Uh, as we go on, I'll show some pictures. So just in theory, this is a cutaneous disorder of pigmentation where there is blue-black discoloration. And this follows inappropriate use of skin lightening agents and inappropriate skin lightening practices. So why I say inappropriate is because we have very many medications in the market that are actually used for these pigmentation disorders, like if you have acne, then to clear the dark spots, we use some of these agents. But the problem now is that people either use them in an unsupervised way or for a prolonged period, and then they come back with these complications. So I'm happy to have this in Danny, uh, took you through the steroids, which are very commonly used in dermatology, so that when you're even prescribed for by your doctor, you can ask the appropriate questions just so that you avoid some of these problems. So some of the agents that are indicated in hydroxyl, which we commonly use for dermatology health uh, pigment disorders like that and mercury, which has been by very many governments, but still you contain mercury, but they won't disclose this in the ingredient list, so it's also good to be aware. Then we have resorcinol and phenol. So what exactly happens with these patients who get ochronosis? So first off, they are using the skin lightening agents, particularly hydroquinone. And how hydroquinone usually helps with lightening the skin is it inhibits an enzyme called tyrosinase. And this enzyme is usually involved in the synthesis of, of melanin, which is what gives us our pigment. So in addition to inhibiting the tyrosinase enzyme, hydroquinone also inhibits another enzyme, seed oxidase. So when this enzyme is inhibited, if there is accumulation of a molecule that's usually in the skin called homogenetic acid. So meaning this, this homogenetic acid is not broken down because the enzyme that usually breaks it down has been inhibited. So what happens is that this molecule, the homogenetic acid, will form uh, macromolecules, which is what I've mentioned as polymerization. It will polymerize and it forms deposits in the second layer of the skin, which is the dermis. So these deposits are what cause the blue-black discoloration on the skin. The patient uh, presents with the genus of prognosis. So why uh, we decided to concentrate on this particular complication is because it's usually very distressing to both the patient and the doctor because I'll show you the pictures. Uh, unfortunately, it, it can actually be irreversible. So this is why we're having this, so that we prevent these complications. So this is just um, some excerpt from the internet, where you can see uh, they're giving a warning notice to the public about hydroquinone that has been found in one of the products we see many of our patients using, which is called Carol or Carol White. And the appropriate concentration of quinone in any product